Hi, this is Anil, and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn, you know, how to overload the new and delete operators in C++. All right. So, first of all, what is the need of, you know, overloading this new and delete operator? You know, sometimes in programming, you're gonna have some classes, and for which you want to specialize the storage mechanism. For example, you know, you, you know, you want to speed up the creation of an object, or you know, you want to use some, uh, you know, some memory, you know, which is already used in another object of the same class, or something like that. And at that time, you guys can overload this new and delete operators. And another thing is, all of us know that you know the C++ language doesn't provide any garbage collection like the languages like C# -sharp or Java. So by overloading this new and delete operators, what we can do is we we can provide the garbage collection for our objects. So when our objects are no longer needed, you know they will be automatically deleted. All right. So whatever may be the reason to overload these operators, the main thing is we can overload them and uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to overload them. Another thing is, you know, uh, we're gonna overload the new and delete operator. So don't get confused between the new keyword and the new operator. So when we create an object of a class, for example, let's say here, um, let's say class is student and uh, have a pointer let's say anil pointer equal to new student now here you know actually two things takes place so one is the memory allocation and the second one is the object construction so the new keyword is responsible for both so one step in the process is to call the new operator to allocate the memory and the second step is to call the constructor of this class student. So this new operator allows you guys to change the memory allocation technique or the method, but it doesn't have any impact or the responsibility for calling the constructor. And uh, you know, that job of calling the constructor will be done by the new keyword. So don't get confused with the new keyword and the new operator. So here, you know, we are just changing or working with the allocation technique, memory allocation technique. So we don't have anything to do with calling constructor. So we just want to change or write a operator function, you know, which will be called when allocating the memory for the object. So we're just writing a operator function. That's it. We are not changing anything about calling the constructor and all. All right, now, you know, we're gonna see how to overload the new and delete operators in C++. So first of all, uh, I have included the CSTD LIB or C standard library header file to my program. And because, you know, we're gonna use some functions like malloc and uh, free. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a class and let's call it as student. And let's have two private members, let's say string name and then uh, let's say int age then we're gonna have the public access specifier so it's gonna be public and then we can have a default constructor with the same name of the class name and here we're gonna initialize our name to no name and uh, we're gonna initialize our age to a value of let's say zero all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a another constructor you know which is going to take two parameters and it's going to initialize these two members so i'm going to copy that previous constructor or the default constructor and and paste it and i'm going to make this one to take two parameters so it's going to be string name and it's going to be int age so here i'm going to use this and the arrow operator so this arrow operator name equal to the local variable name so it's going to be name and again it's going to be this arrow operator age equal to age so now we have two constructors you know which are going to initialize our class members the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build a public method you know which is going to print out the values of these two members so let's say it's going to be void who are you you know you guys can give any name you want and here we're just going to use a c out and we're going to say hi my name is and then i'm gonna refer the name and again i'm gonna insert some string and my age is and again i'm gonna refer age and is let's end this line 
all right now we have uh, developed a class you know where we have two members private members and two constructors and a public meta and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the new and delete operator for this class so when we overload them inside our class you know that overloaded new and delete will be called when we create an object from this class and if we overload this new and delete outside the class you know outside of all the classes at that time you know that overloaded new and delete will be called whenever we use the new and delete in our program you know the global scope all right now here to overload the new operator first we need to specify the return type all of us know that you know the new operator is gonna return the memory address so it's gonna be a pointer and also we can have a wide pointer you know which can contain the address of a memory location you know that can hold any type of data so i'm gonna have wide star and then we're gonna have the operator keyword and then the operator name which is new and then a pair of parentheses and then here we need to specify size underscore t let's say size so this size underscore t is a data type defined you know already defined in the c++ you know which is capable of holding the largest single piece of memory that can be allocated or or in other words you know this size variable contains the number of bytes that we want to allocate that's it and then the operator function body and here within this operator function body let's create a wide pointer and let's say p or pointer and then we're gonna print a message you know specifying that you know we are using the overloaded new operator so i'm gonna use cout and uh, i'm just gonna say overloaded new and let's end this line add the semicolon and also if you guys want to know you know what value will be passed to this variable size you guys can specify that so it's gonna be size ace and then i'm gonna refer to the size and that's it all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna allocate the memory using the malloc function you know i have made a video tutorial about the malloc function and i'm gonna put the link in the description box and uh, you guys can watch that and learn you know how this malloc function works all right you know this malloc function is gonna return the address and we're gonna store that address in our pointer so it's gonna be pointer equal to and uh, m alloc and then we're gonna pass size all right now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check whether the memory is allocated for us or not so it's gonna be an if statement and then i'm gonna have not pointer and then it's gonna mean that you know the memory is not allocated for us and that's why it's gonna be okay i have missed a uh, curly base okay, all right now it's proper so here we're just gonna throw an exception let's say bad alloc and uh, and it's gonna be bad alloc and let's say an object b y and we're just gonna throw that object now the next thing that we need to do is we need to return the pointer so it's gonna be return pointer just before the end of this operator function so it's gonna be return pointer all right now we have overloaded the new operator the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the delete operator so it's gonna be the return type first the delete operator is not gonna return any values so it's gonna be void and then the operator keyword and then the operator name which is delete and then you know this delete operator is gonna take one parameter that is the memory address so we're gonna have a void pointer so inside this operator function we're just gonna say overloaded delete and let's end this line and then we're gonna use the free function to free the allocated memory so which is pointed by this pointer all right now we have overloaded the new operator and the delete operator the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class student in my main function so we're gonna allocate the memory using the new keyword and that's why we're gonna need a pointer so it's gonna be student and let's say anils pointer or anils ptr and then 
we can allocate the memory using the new operator. If this new operator fails to allocate memory, it's gonna throw an exception. That's why we're gonna place that in between the try and cat block. So it's gonna be try. And then here, anil's pointer, anil's ptr equal to new, then the class names that is student. And I think we need to pass two parameters, name and age. So we're gonna pass anil, the name, and the age which is 24 all right the next thing that we can do is we can call the method using the anil's pointer and that is who are you and that's it and then we need to build a catch block catch and we're gonna catch the bad alloc exception so it's gonna be bad and let's say b and inside this catch block we're just gonna call the what method of this object b so it's gonna be b dot what and let's end this line and here you know after using this object what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the allocated object using the delete so it's gonna be delete operator and then we need to pass a pointer which is anil's pointer all right now we have overloaded the operators new and delete and also we have used them in our program the next thing okay before running this program let's include the header file std except because you know we are using the bad alloc here you know all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program and hopefully we don't have any error okay we have an error okay i have misspelled this one this should be anil's ptr now don't make any spelling mistakes like this all right build and run this and again we got the error all right that's because you know we are using this new keyword and it returns a pointer we should have a pointer here and you know i just missed that so you know silly mistakes so save it again build and run it this time no error and it says overloaded new operator and the size is eight you know that's because of this member's name and age you know eight bits are allocated using the new operator and then it says uh hi my name is anil and my age is 24 that's from the who are you method and then uh, the overloaded delete will be called so this is it guys this is how we guys can overload the new and delete operators in c++ uh, if you guys overload this new and delete outside all the classes you know they're gonna be called whenever you use them and if you overload them inside a class then this overloaded new and delete will be called whenever you create an object of that class where you have overloaded the new and delete so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial